Hi everyone. I thought I'd explain a little bit about what it means to be light-handed or heavy-handed. I'm using the Dream Pen and I also am using my grid paper pad. So when we do brush lettering, you know the key is we want to have thick and thin lines, right? So let's do an upstroke here and a downstroke. An upstroke and a downstroke. When you are light-handed, your thick downstrokes are going to suffer. So you might have a light upstroke that is super thin and then coming down, you're not going to push very hard. Now you can still see the difference between thick and thin, but it's not as dramatic. So people with light hands have trouble with stiff pens and they can't get a really thick downstroke. So what I expect you to do is push down like this and get the whole side of the pen uh, flat onto your paper. So if you are light-handed, you're going to, let's see, do the underturn. This is my underturn. And your underturn will be this. Do you see the difference is not dramatic enough? So if you're a light-handed, you have to work on pushing down and bending that pen on your downstrokes. Don't worry about your upstrokes. You have a light touch, you'll be fine. But you have to push on those downstrokes. Now some pens are soft and some pens are stiff. My dream pens are kind of stiff. So if you're struggling with a new dream pen, I've shown this before, push, rotate, gently turn and get that brush tip flexing. Okay, so what happens if you have the opposite issue and you are heavy handed? Uh, if you are heavy handed, so first of all, I'll do my light up stroke and my heavy down stroke. All right, and now if you're heavy handed, that means you push hard on all your pens whenever you're writing. So what's going to suffer? Not really your downstrokes. Your upstrokes will not be thin enough. So you will be going up and down. Up and down. And yes, there is a difference. And in general, if you can see the difference, it's okay. But what ends up happening, similar to the light-handed people, is your strokes turn out to be very similar when you're actually doing brush lettering to the point where you stop seeing the difference. Okay, so I'm going to do, um, I'm going to write a word with the um, uh, light, being light handed. Let's pretend I'm light handed and I'm going to write a word. So I will just write the word hi. So I've got nice thin upstrokes, and then I'm going to do a nice uh, ascender loop, and then I'm gonna come down. Okay, and usually uh, the descender, the coming, the downstroke, as I said before, for these light-handed people is going to thin out because they don't apply enough pressure all the way through the stroke. Now let's do the uh, compound curve, upstroke and downstroke and upstroke and downstroke. There. So a light-handed person is going to be writing like this. Uh, let me let me show you my the the normal, well not normal, I don't want to say that you're abnormal, <laughs> but the uh, kind of the what it should look like with a thin upstroke and a heavy downstroke. And in the comments, let me know if you are heavy-handed or light-handed or um, you have it figured out so you're just right. You have a light hand going up and a heavy hand coming down, which is the right combination to do brush lettering. So um, let's try the heavy-handed approach where the upstrokes are going to be much thicker. So they're going to do a light upstroke, not too light because they're pushing hard. Another light upstroke and down and a light upstroke and down and a light upstroke. And you can see that everything is just going to be much, much thicker. 
So you end up with almost a monoline. You can't really see the distinction between thick and thin. So what I recommend is you practice your basic strokes. I'm just going to write light and heavy. And you um, work on lightening up if you're heavy handed and, uh, and uh, strengthening your down strokes if you are light handed. And so that you achieve those um, nice contrasts between thick and thin strokes. Start with your basic strokes and then move on to your letters. All right, so I hope this helps you out and thanks for watching. Hope you, I hope you subscribe to my channel as well.